The return to class also means parents may have to put some extra thought into grocery shopping, finding the right food for snacks, lunches, and quick dinners for the whole family. And Angela Davis looked into that for us today. She joins us right now. You're stressing oh, me yes. <laughs> I know. I'm already stressed, too. And, hey, you know, during the summer months, you know, our routines get thrown off yeah. by uh, sports and camps and vacations, of course. But come September, when school is back in session, we fall back into a routine, most of us, and it's more likely for us to have dinner together at home. Well, today, a chef at Kowalski's Market showed me some smart choices at the grocery store and a few ways to make a quick and healthy dinner. This is what we want when we come home, a hot meal. But to get here, you have to start here first, the grocery store. Everything here has already been marinated for you. So you get home, you want to get something in the pan, on the grill, in the oven. You don't have to worry about this piece of it. Whether it takes 30 minutes or three hours to marinate it, it's already been done for you. At the meat counter, you can find a wide variety of marinated chicken breasts and pork chops. In the freezer, a fast and nutritious side dish. I think one of my favorite items for the freezer is this frozen rice. Whether you want to get uh, brown or, or jasmine rice, or there's a whole line of like fully cooked whole grains. Three minutes instead of 20. In produce, she recommends fresh green beans you can microwave. And these particular ones are very fast, convenient. They're a staple in my house. We watched Chef Rachel Perrin cook a dinner in less than 10 minutes. She sauteed some chicken breasts, microwaved some green beans and brown rice, and then made a salad. These are some locally grown heirloom tomatoes, so they're in season, they're a great value right now, and they're just delicious. And for those after-school snacks, try grape tomatoes, cheese sticks, hummus, or pita chips. I always think it's a great time of day to get kids to eat fruits and vegetables, and they're supposed to eat five to seven a day. And if they're hungry, they'll eat them. So if there are carrot chips and hummus or bananas and cherries at home, they're likely going to eat those things because they're, they're ready for something to eat, no matter what it is. That's right, they can only eat what they have access to, so if you only have healthy stuff in the house, that's yeah. what they're gonna eat. Now, an inexpensive option is pasta, and you can really find now a wider variety of whole grain pastas that taste quite good. Add your favorite pasta sauce, or you know, your favorite sauce to it, yeah. Amelia, and you're sure to please those hungry people, those oh, hungry so people I, in your house. I know, there's always hungry people in our house. Uh, that spicy jalapeno hummus looked pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. but now, I know that a lot of kids, when they enter middle school, they often lose that recess time that they had in elementary school, so right. they're not as active, they don't get as much exercise. Yeah, that's a big deal, so unless they're playing a sport, they really are losing activity as they get into middle and high school, so it becomes really, really important, important what they eat, because yeah. nutrition, as we know, is very tied to, you know, staying healthy. If we get good habits as kids, we... Take it Continue into adulthood. Those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Angela.